Today we're going to put the hydroponic tomatoes in the Dutch bucket system. These were seeded into multi-seed oasis cubes. And then you can see all these nice roots we have in the nice stems. These are called Rabelski tomatoes. These were planted about a month ago and they spent a week up in the control tunnel up there germinating. And then they spent three weeks here in the nursery. And we wanted to make sure they had a nice strong stem and then a good root system before we got them into the buckets. In this greenhouse, there's two separate bucket systems. Um, this one over here was already planted. And then over here is where we put the tomatoes. And that way they can have their special vine crop nutrients. We already got the buckets set up and filled them with the growing medium. It's the perlite vermiculite perlite. And it's very similar to our other Dutch bucket videos. So I will link those and put them at the end of the video. Um, the tomatoes aren't much different from the way we do the cucumbers. We already went through and soaked the growing medium down with the nutrient solution. And we are going to be planting two tomatoes per bucket. Here's a better look at the growing medium that we use. This just comes from Crop King and it comes in four cubic foot bags. We use these lids as a template, first of all, to make sure we plant them in the right spot. You want to be very gentle when you're breaking these apart so the roots don't get damaged. And just make sure you get all the roots down in there. And it's okay if a little bit of the growing medium goes up on the stem a bit because it will shoot out extra roots. Okay. And then we put the lids on. Now for the emitters, just like the cucumbers, we're not gonna start off with it in this hole. We're gonna put it just next to the plant. That way it's small root system can get the nutrient water right away. Once the tomato plants get a little bit bigger, we'll move the emitter over to that other hole. Um, eventually the stems will get so thick, there's no room for it right next to it. It's my favorite time with tomatoes nice to get them in this time of year and they're not a lot of work summertime oh my gosh lean and lower clear foot off bottom leaves harvesting tomatoes they're you know a really good crop but they are a lot of work i like this job do you think it's because we don't do it that often probably <laughs> once a year yeah <laughs> you know what my least favorite job is what tearing out the tomatoes Oh, that's yeah, that they're heavy. They are. Remember I used the wagon in here and Blaine helped me the whole time with the door? You see on this one, we have a empty oasis cube next to it, so I'm not going to rip it apart from the plant because there's some roots growing into it. And also because it'll give it a little bit more growing medium to retain some water. We're running low on lids, so Mom suggested we just put one half on each bucket so we make sure we put the tomatoes in place. But these make a really nice red tomato and they grow really well in the greenhouse. I mean eventually they grow all the way up to the top and um, we have to do something called leaning and lowering so that'll be a fun thing probably in a few months. I just need to finish putting the emitters in but that wasn't bad and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys how these grow and how we take care of them. Also, you can see that we didn't start this side of the bucket system yet. And that's because we like to have the tomatoes in stages. That way we always have a good amount to bring to the farm market like all summer. And we still have some tomatoes over here in the nursery. These are grape tomatoes and they will be in here throughout the winter. But once the spring comes, we move those over to the high tunnel. I'll take you for a little walk in the greenhouse to show you what's going on. Here's the endive again. This is that second round and it's sprouting up really nice. 
It's probably got another week or so here in the nursery channel. We still have the spinach going over here and it's not looking like it's bolting soon. So we're gonna keep it going for a while. Then up here are some microgreens too. And mom divides the channels in half sometimes. These are pea shoots and then this is cilantro. And again, this is just all for us. Once we get a little bit closer to the farm market, we'll get this whole section planted up with microgreens again. These dandelion greens are the next thing to go to the CSA. And they're a little bit wimpy today because it's so sunny and it's also really humid. But they'll perk back up here once the sun goes down. That's why we try not to harvest in the middle of the day. Out here in the control tunnel, we have a few different kind of seeds germinating. This is the next round of spinach. And then got some basil going too, that'll be fun. And then back out here, I'll show you the Dutch buckets that we started um, a couple weeks ago and last week. These are the broccoli and the cauliflowers. And then here's the beans. They're winding their way up the strings and growing probably a couple inches a day. This mark on the string is where they were five days ago and then it's probably over a foot all the way to there. I tried to set up a time lapse of the beans for you guys. So I got my old cell phone out and it's been filming them all day. So hopefully it's cool. And then in the rest of the greenhouse is just the big sections of stuff that goes to the CSA. Mostly right now in the winter time, we do a lot of greens, Asian greens and stuff like that. Just get them doing inventory. Mm -hmm. I need more lids. Definitely need more lids and I need a little bit more nutrients and a couple other things for the beta bobbins and different things. So I want to go crap king in a couple days. Do you want to come with me? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's that'd go. be fun. Yeah, that'd be a good video. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Yeah. A little news about the wood processor. We had to postpone it a week, but it's actually a good thing because dad has more time to bring more wood down. So we'll ride up quick and I'll show you what he's been doing. This is all you have left up here? Yep. Nice. It's going a lot faster with your trailer, huh? Yeah. so he could hook up his dump trailer to the tractor because before he was just carrying a couple logs down at a time on the forks of the skidster. Oh, you guys got my car all muddy, huh? Yeah. You ready to go home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Bobby and Brock are loading up some old wood from the barn.
They have a family tradition where they butcher a few hogs every year. So they're gonna use that wood for the scalding thing and then some of the kettles. Here's the new seedlings for the desktop system. And it looks like they've all germinated. These are getting harvested in the next video. They didn't really form a tight head, but they're big enough. I'm just hoping it tastes good. Bobby ended up tearing out the engine out of the John Deere snowmobile. He's got it over here. But, got some good news. It just needs a crankshaft seal, I guess. And it was only $3, so we're just waiting for that to come in. It's been pretty snowy so far this winter, so we're all pretty excited to get this thing out. But I'm looking forward to showing you guys the tomatoes as they grow. So please subscribe and thank you for watching.